One thing that amazes me this evening is the fact that Boris is still in a job. He is where he is. And nothing but a gigantic great big push out the door of number 10 is going to shift him, I feel. And he's made a couple of appointments, a couple of uh, shuffling arounds to try and save his own dirty, rotten skin. And I'll tell you about them next. <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Saturday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. You know, this thing with Boris is getting fast. Cool. If it was anybody else, it'd be out on their arse. They'd be gone. Vote of no confidence, kaput. I feel now, with all the re revelations coming out and the media sticking the boot in, these days are numbered. It's just a matter of time before that vote of no confidence comes through. I'd be very surprised if he resigns. I don't think he's the type to resign. But uh, I, will, I will certainly admit defeat on that if I'm proven wrong at a later date. Well, in a latest attempt to try and save his skin, he's employed a couple of people. He's got Stephen Barclay, who's an existing cabinet minister already. The Dushy of Lancaster, I think his uh, role is. And he'll now take up a post as Boris's chief of staff. Well, that's good. That's good. Another person in a place of importance and the most interesting one of all is a chap called Guto Hari if I say his name correctly he's a Welsh fellow that used to work for the BBC he's been made chief of communications at Downing Street oh what an important sounding position but this is where I think things go a little bit wrong here you know I don't know if you remember this name but if not let me help you Yes, he had a stint on GB News, and it was a very small stint indeed. And what did he do on GB News? He took to the knee. And what he would have done then is single-handedly pissed off probably 90% of the viewership of GB News, because we're all of an agreement that taking the knee has gone too far, particularly when it shows up in football and other things like that, when political messaging should not form a part. And now he's Director of Communications at the BBC, at... Uh, 10 Downing Street, he used to work for the BBC. Sorry for the confusion there, but it's all melding into one. As you can see, though, this is a disaster waiting to happen, and I do believe that sooner or later this is going to end Boris in its uh, entirety. Let me know what you think about this development, but I think this is one big mistake. One big mistake indeed. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo! Toodaloo!